Hi, so this month I'm a part of the Pay It Forward collab started by Megan Alley Doodles. Um, so every day this month uh, there's a different vlogger that's been assigned a date and we are sharing you with you guys um, some ideas for Pay It Forward, random act of kindness. Um, so yeah, so anyway, um, great idea. Look down below in the description box. You can follow everybody else that's doing this collaboration. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and follow everybody else who's doing the, the collaboration. Um, so anyway, what I want, God, my kid is distracting me. He's like dancing and looking really cute. Um, I wanted to do something. I wanted to do something for our humane society. Um, we rescued one of our kittens, or well, she's a cat now. When we bought this farm, there was a cat that had kittens in our barn and we rescued one of the kittens. The other one did not make it, unfortunately. Um, and then, so we had this wild feral cat that's been running around and then we ended up catching her about a year and a half ago. <laughs> And we caught her and we took her to go get fixed because we couldn't have this wild cat just, you know, having babies in our barn all the time. Um, anyway, when we, when we turned her in, they were like, oh, she's lactating, so, you know, there must be kittens. And we're like, great. So then we found five kittens in the barn. Um, we took those kittens, we, we, you know, got some kitten formula and took care of them for a couple days. And then um, we took them to the Humane Society and they were really great with them and they, yeah, anyway, I had a very great experience. My other cat, Archie, the black one, the male one, we actually rescued him from the Humane Society. So anyway, um, yeah, just a little background. So I wanted to do something for the Humane Society. Um, so if it's something you're interested in, I just went on their website and I wanted to do something. <laughs> My kid is eating and grunting. Um, I wanted to do something other than just like a cash donation, so I looked on their website and they have a section that shows, you know, what they need, and um, so basically what it said that they needed were more pet beds, that they normally have a shortage because, you know, the animals, you know, it can be cold with them laying on the concrete, and I don't know, so they don't always have enough beds, so I thought, you know what, I can do something about that, I can make something. So that is what I decided to do for the Pay It Forward. Um, it's not limited to just humans. You could do something for animals. So this is what I ended up doing to donate to the Humane Society and I hope it, you know, keeps a little cat or a dog cozy and warm until they find a home. Okay, so um, what I have here, what I'm using is I just have a old pillow. Um, this is some fleece I have, just some remnant fleece that I got at Joann's. And um, then over here I have just some old sweaters and scarves and random flannels. So I'm going to go through and just see what, um, what works. Just um, any type of scraps or just clothes that maybe you don't really want to, I mean you could donate them or sometimes they might just be even a little bit worn looking that you don't want to donate them. Um, so I'm going to see what I can come up with using these scraps. Okay, so for the project, I'm using an old pillow and a sweater that I stretched out pretty bad while I was pregnant. It's not a maternity sweater and I stretched it out and it's really worn looking. Um, see how it's like pilling up? So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this, um, originally I was gonna make like a, a quilt, but then this pillow fits perfectly in this sweater. Okay, so I have the pillow stuffed in here and what I'm gonna do is cut off the sleeves and allowing some, um, just a little bit of wiggle room. Let's see how much, so if I'm gonna, gonna go along straight here, I'll probably cut about here just to allow myself some some room so I'm gonna cut the arms off and do the same to the neck okay so I chopped off the arms or the, <laughs> the arms it looks like a person chopped off the sleeves and the um, collar and um, I'm gonna take out the pillow and I'm gonna go ahead and sew these up but before I do that I'm going to I have this old scarf that is really ragged and I was gonna donate it, but it's like, it's pretty ragged and worn looking. So I'm probably gonna embellish the bed with this red scarf. I was thinking about maybe cutting out a heart or something and putting it in the corner. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna cut out some type of a, probably a heart. 
sew it on here. Bye. And then sew up the arms and the neck. Okay, so I put a little heart, I sewed that on there, and I turned it inside out, and I sewed with the sewing machine, the, I closed up the neck hole, and the arms on both sides, and I stuffed in my pillow. So now I'm trying to figure out how to close it up. Like, if I use stuffing, it would be easier, because then I just would take the machine and, you know, just leave like a little spot to fill with stuffing. But since it's a pillow, I'm trying to figure out how to make it look nice, you know, instead of just like sewing like that. Um, hey, little munchkin. Um, so, I'm figure out how to like, I don't know, tuck it in somehow. Hey, baby. So it looks pretty. I mean, I know it's for a dog, but <laughs> right, Chase. Um, so that's what I'm trying to figure out is closing this off. Okay, so what I did is I ended up um, cutting these in strips and I'm gonna try to tie it off. Hopefully that holds. I might have to sew it. Um, I'm gonna see, if hopefully that works. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Okay, so here is my old sweater that has been upcycled to a dog bed. Um, I ended up just tying them off like this and knotting them. Um, now, if you are worried that, I double knotted them by the way. If you are worried that the dog will chew on these, I mean, it depends on the dog. You could always um, tie it on the inside, like turn it, if that makes any sense. I mean, I guess you'd have to turn it inside out to do that so that the tassels would go inside and not on the outside. Um, and I know you couldn't tie it off with all sweaters. Some of them might unravel, but I, I tested it out first and um, it worked really well with this material. Um, so you could always sew it off. I just ended up doing that. Um, and yeah, super easy. And I hope it keeps a little cat or a dog um, cozy at the animal shelter. So yeah, so I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, it was really easy to make. Ooh. <laughs> it was really easy to make. Um, Obviously, what I made is something that's suitable for a small dog or a cat, um, but I was trying to use what I had on hand and not have to go buy anything. So if you wanted to do it for a bigger dog, um, it'd be, you know, you could use two pillows or if you had a bunch of stuffing. Um, I have some pillows I don't like that were on my couch. I was going to take the batting out of them, so I might do that for another project. Um, and yeah, it's a great way to upcycle something that you have on hand instead of, you know, throwing it away. And then you're also, you know, repurposing it and doing something great. So um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was very, very easy. <laughs> Bye. So stay tuned for tomorrow and Heather waiting for baby Teeter will be sharing something with you guys tomorrow. Bye.